Alright, so I know a lot of you guys appreciate when I do these sort of quick on the meal type things for you guys. So I'm going to show you another great vegan item. And this is Amy's made with organic corn masa, tomatillos, and black beans. This is the tamale verde black bean, however you want to say it. Alright, so I know you guys like it when I show you these quick little how to eat fast and on the go as a vegan. This is Amy's made with organic corn masa, tomatillos, and black beans. This is the tamale verde black bean dish and it is dairy free and gluten free, it contains no GMOs or bioengineered ingredients. Now I will show you where it says that it is vegan. Right there, ingredients. Vegan, gluten free, dairy free, no cholesterol, and this is the black bean tamale verde. Directions are really easy. You can even do toaster oven, microwave, or whatever. So basically there's a little story on the back kind of goes when Amy's family first discovered the tamale verde at their favorite restaurant in Puerto Escondido, Mexico. They couldn't believe how good it tasted and kept ordering it over and over again. Amy's dad hoped they could recreate this recipe for the wonderful authentic Mexican dish and offer it to Amy's customers. That was easier said than done. It took three years to perfect this dish, to grow organic tomatillos, which are the heart of the salsa verde, and to make the salsa so good that it just wasn't right. All the ingredients are carefully selected and prepared. The organic masa ground and cooked corn is poured onto individual parchments filled with tender organic black beans and a mixture of organic vegetables, chilies, and jalapenos, and then folded and steamed. The tamales are then wrapped by hand, topped with our delicious verde sauce, and served with a side of Spanish rice made with organic brown rice. This delightful tamale dinner is a favorite throughout Mexico and become a favorite of yours. So I thought that you guys would appreciate this little guy. And it's about $4.99. You can get coupons though. I'll try to keep, find a coupon website for you. Um, just a heads up, this product is made in a facility that it does manufacture wheat, milk, soy, and tree nuts. Not all of um, Amy's meals are vegan. You do have to look for that though, but all her meals are vegetarian. Uh, it's uh, 330 calories for the entire dish. The serving size is one serving size per container, so you don't even have to figure it out. It's blatantly 330 calories. I'm actually going to be preparing this or, serve, or enjoying this with Cabo Fresh guacamole, and this is the spicy one. If you can't take the heat, you can always make your own or get plain. I thought that um, I would just show this already made one. Since it is um, vegan and all natural and doesn't contain uh, preservatives, when you open it, it will go bad. I have an amazing tip for that, though. Now, if you hate to cut uh, fruit open or you don't have a cutting board or knives, I understand a lot of times college kids don't have extra supplies and tools or maybe you don't have the supplies and tools or want to take the time to get a cutting board. You can get just store brand lemon juice, pour it into this lovely guacamole and enjoy it like that and the guacamole will hold to a better appearance a little while longer. Now just in case you're thinking, well, what good is all that without some sour cream? You can get tofuti sour cream and supposedly better than sour cream. I don't care for dairy, so this is fine for me. No milk fat, no butter fat. Um, it is a milk free item. Lactose zero. Uh, less calories, all that great fantastic stuff. So that's your sour cream replacement. You can get vegan chips. Chips aren't good for you, but there are vegan chips out there you can always use. You can even get Daya, which is a vegan cheese, if you're dying for some cheese. And I'm going to drink this up with uh, one, uh, na one natural experience coconut water. 100% natural with a splash of pink guava, which is one of my favorite ones. I also like the lemon lime one. And this is a good source of electrolytes, calcium, potassium, and drinking one of these at night or in the morning will help you avoid get uh, dark circles and severe hydration. If you're really sunburned or really hydrated, this will just be an amazing pick-me-up. It's better than caffeine in a way because this can give to you what um, what, art, what the artificial you know feeling that caffeine gives you. This will really help you out. So I hope that you found this uh, helpful. Um, if I didn't, sorry, if I didn't already state, this is a great source of calcium. So this can replace your milk. Um, clearly, you can't dip into Oreos with it or anything like that. But um, 
perhaps you can go to Mother's, Sprouts, whatever, get some coupons, and get some vegan cookies if you really wish. Obviously, they won't be good with this, but what can you do? You can always get almond milk, though. And uh, just in case you're curious with almond milk, you can... I've already talked about Blue Diamond in my fake vegan McDonald's. So I'll show you Silk, which is pure almond, unsweetened, if you're looking for something. And then you can get some vegan cookies and dip that in for an after-dinner treat. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, and thank you so much for watching.